Welcome to Eating is by Editing and today we are going to spot errors in various type of sentences. Uh, you may ask one question. Yes, you. Sir, while spotting error, what is more important? Sir, while spotting error is more important. Well, while spotting error, it is very important to read the integrated paragraph. Never start a spotting error before you read the entire paragraph. Now, so far as sentence error is concerned, there are various types of error that can be error in tense, error in verb form, error, error in preposition, error in conjunction, error in clauses, error in noun, error in pronoun, error in degree of comparison, error in any other articles, A and B, determiners, error can be anywhere. Now let us take some compact errors. Uh, first sentence is like that, listen, uh, I am better of all the students. It is your question. Sir, I am best of all students. Very good. Why best? Because when we are comparing, you know, nouns more than two, nouns or pronouns more than two, we will use superlative degree. What shall we use? Super so it will be I am I am the best of all the students. I am the best of all students. The degree goes like that. Good, better, best. Now, second question is uh, yours, yes, please. Yes. That is there. Uh, yes. I have lost a ten rupees note. I have lost 10 rupees note. No, no, listen to the question. I have lost a oh, one, one, a oh, 10 rupees note. Sir, one is not. No, no, it is there. Everything is correct. Pay attention on rupee and rupees. I have lost a 10 rupees note. Sir, rupee note. Rupee, absolutely right. I have lost a 10 rupee note. Ask sir why? Sir, why? When you are talking about a determiner or before 10 rupee, well, how can you write or 10 rupees? It, it is 10 itself is a plural, I mean, a word. Am I right? Yes. So there is no need to write another plural. So I have lost a 10 rupee note. Yes. Similarly, I have lost a 100 <coughs> rupee note. 100 rupee note. Yes. I have lost a 500 rupee note. A 500? Yes. No need of write uh, rupees. Okay. Another question is for you, Babu. Uh, he hasn't come since a long time. He hasn't come since a long time. He, he, not he hasn't not come uh, since, since a long, long time. time. So since will be replaced by for. for. Because when we compare point of time or whenever talk of whenever we talk of point of time, we use for uh, uh, since. Whenever we talk of period of time, we use for. Long time doesn't indicate how many months, which I mean week, which month. There is no the same thing can be there. I have not seen him since yesterday. Since yes, it yes, is yes. perfect. Yesterday is a point of time. I have not seen him since Monday last. Monday. Yes. So when you are giving point of time, you can use since uh, in present perfect. But when you are giving period of time, you have to use for. Perfect. Next question. It is for you. You. Yes. Yes. She is the best of the two students. She is better <coughs> of the students. Very good. Better of the Ask her why. Survive. Whenever we compare two objects or two noun or two pronouns, we always use comparative degree. Yes. So comparative degree goes like that: good, better, yes. best. Yes. So the right answer is C is the better of the two students. Okay, uh, Choti, your question. Each of the students were given pencils. Each of the students were given pencils. Each of the students. Error हम आपको बताए थे. Error is war. Where को replace करना है. Each of the student was given pencil. Each of the student was given. Where will be war will be replaced by was. Ask why sir. Each always refers to singular noun. Each of the students. A student is not the main subject. Subject is each. Each of one of none of always refers to a singular noun. One of the boys has come. None of the boys has come. Understand? Yes. Either of the two boys has come. Never use have. Because whenever you use either of, each of, none of, one of, it always indicates singular noun. So the right answer will be each of the students, don't see students, see each. Each of the students was given pencil. Given pencil. Okay. We decided at once, we decided to at once call the police. We decided to at once call the police. 
don't you think there is something wrong wrong placement it is called we wrong decided. placement we decided to call the police at once okay. adverb will go at last okay. see adverb can be used in the beginning of the sentence or at last or after the verb because at verb always modifies the verb so it can be like that see now at once we decided to call the police or we decided to call the police at once we will never use at once before uh, any other i mean verb we will use we decided to call the police at once next question i had passed the intermediate exam in 1960 what is wrong anybody please Since no, no, no. See the, see the verb. I had passed intermediate exam in 1990. I had been. No, I passed. Right. The action which took place long ago. 1990 is a past action, simple past action. I passed intermediate in that year. In any year. It, it is written. He passed. He passed uh, intermediate exam in 1990. It will not be past perfect. It will be simple past. Whenever we refer to an action which took place in a particular year in the past, we will use simple past tense. We will use, simple like past. you see, if I ask you, when did you pass your class 8 exam? You will say, sir, last year, yes, sir. I passed my class 10 exam yes. last year. When did you pass your class 8 exam? You are in, in class 9 now. In the year 2018. Yes. So you will say, I passed, say like that, I passed my class 8 exam in the year 2018. Yes. Always say simple past. Okay, when did India become independent? India became independent India in the year 1947. When when was uh, you know Mahatma Gandhi born? Mahatma Gandhi was born on 2nd October. Was born. Was born. Simple past tense. Similarly, tell me. Uh, I had passed. Yes, he took admission into Darbhanga Medical College. Took admission into. Is it right? took admission into in a college into is not used for so in and into there is a difference in means something which is existing and into is having some force like you rushed into the room you rushed into the room there is a force there is a force so he took admission in darbhanga medical college in is used in place of into. Into is never used without any reason. Without any reason. Simple in will be used. Okay. Tell me. Uh, girls, once again. Which is easier? Hindi or Telugu? Which is easiest? The question is, which is easiest? Hindi or Telugu? Easier. Which is easier? Which is easier? Because we are comparing only two languages. Yes. So, which is easier? Very good. I neither met Tom nor his brother. Order is wrong. I neither met Tom no, no, no. No. I no, met her will come first. I met neither Tom nor his brother. Actually, you are referring to Tom and his brother. Yes. So it should come together. Neither after neither nor or before neither nor the two pronouns or the two nouns should be connected. It looks disconnected. You have to use Bhav after that neither nor or you have to write neither nor before then bhav. Like you can say, I like neither bread nor rice. It is correct. Yes, Absolutely sir. correct. Because the two nouns are connected. Bread and you are comparing yes, your choice with rice as well as uh, bread. So you can say I like neither rice nor bread. Yes. You will never say I neither like rice. Then you will have to say nor. Then you will use I neither like rice nor bread. bread. Okay. Uh, boys fear from snakes at night. Fears, boys, boys, boys fear from snakes at night. The boy fear. No, no, fear is okay. But boys fear, simple present tense. Of his snakes or for his snakes? Uh, from his snakes. From snake. Boys fear from his snakes at night. night. From snakes at night. He told me that he was all right. He told me that he was all right. He told me that he was all right. The sentence is correct. The sentence is correct. There is nothing wrong in that. His uh -huh, partner is a smaller from Delhi. Partner is smaller than Delhi. A smaller than. A smaller is always. Any comparative degree is followed by than. Patna is smaller than Delhi. Than? Delhi. Achha, you tell me. Uh, 
uh, yes, Kolkata is bigger than any city of India. What is wrong in this sentence? It is uh, wrong. Kolkata is bigger than any other city of India. Any other comparative degree when you are comparing one city with other city, any other or all other, all other plus plural noun, any other plus singular noun. Kolkata is bigger than any other city of India. Okay, fast. Come on. I am not pleased from him. Not preposition. Not error is in preposition. I am not pleased with him. I am not pleased with him. Your question, uh, Muskan. He has been ill from last Monday. He has, he has been, been ill since, since last Monday. Monday. Since, since, since indicates last. point of time. Last Monday is perfect. Bita hua Monday. That is perfect time. It is point of time. He has been ill since last Monday. Okay. Five more questions. I am reading this novel for three days. I am reading. I am reading this novel for. No, no. There is a tense error. The, the action has been continuing over a period of time. Sir, few, sir. No, no, no. Tense error means verb error. Uh, see now. I am reading this book. I am reading this book for how many weeks? I have said three, three for days. three days. I have been reading this. I have, I have been reading this book for three. Why last yes, why? When an action is started in the past but has been continuing in the present over a period of time or point of time, it is called present perfect continuous tense. You will never say I am reading this book for three days. You will always say I have been reading present perfect continuous. Tell me. When an action is started in the past, when when an action started but has past, been continuing, but but has been been continuing in the present, in the present over a period of time or, or, period or point of time, or point of that time. action is said to be that action is said to in be present perfect continuous tense. Present so it will be continuous. never say I am reading this book for three days. Always say I have been reading this book for three days. Mm -hmm. Present perfect continuous. Okay. I am reading. Yes. Either of the two boys have done this. Either of the two boys means one of the two boys. Either of the two boys, either you or he. Ek bar mein ek hi. Either of the two boys have done this. Error is in have. The answer will be has. Either of the two boys has done this. Why? Why? Because whenever we are referring to either of, neither of, none of, always referring to a singular noun. Either of the two boys has done this. Either the two girls has done this. Never say have. Whenever we are referring to either of, neither of, none of, we mean singular noun. And therefore, what will be singular or plural? Singular. So here it either of the two boys has done it correct or have done it. Has done it. The Mount Everest is highest in the world. The Mount Everest galat hai. Why? Ask sir why? Sir, it is a name of a particular, I mean, mountain. 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 Never use the Mount Everest. Because Mount Everest is a proper noun. Yes, we will never say the Delhi. We will never say the Patna. We will never say the Bukhar. We will always say Bukharu Steel City. Is a city in Jharkhand. Is a city in? Jharkhand. We will never say the Delhi. We will always say Delhi. We will say Delhi is the capital of India. Delhi is the capital of? Mm. Proper mm. noun is never used along with definite article the we use proper noun without article so we will say mount everest is the highest mountain is the highest superlative mountain. degree the highest uh, see uh, gita is the holiest book of the hindus is the holiest, holiest. is the holiest. ganga is the holiest river of india holiest river of india this is an useful or useful Useful, why you? Sound is a consonant. This is a useful. No, I am. A useful. Use, use. Why you can sound it? He is a European, not I am. You, e per mat jaiye. Sound per jaiye. Always distinguish consonant sound from vowel sound. He is a European. A European. Why you? But his brother is an Indian. He is an? He is a European. He is? His friend is an American. And I mean Indian, but never say an European. Always say a European. Why you? He is a university professor. University. Why you? Sound is why you. Consonant sound. He is a university professor. A university. Professor. That child is an orphan. That child is an orphan. orphan. An orphan. And the last two questions. The climate of Ranchi is better than Patna. What is wrong in that? 
The climate of Rachi is better than Patna. The climate of Rachi is better than that of Patna. That of Patna. that indicates you are comparing climate. Climate of Patna to that of Rachi. That is qualifying climate. So that has to be used. Bully. The climate of Pat uh, Rachi is better than that of Patna. Better than that of Patna. The forest of South Africa are more densely populated than that of India. What is wrong? The forest. Rural am use karay. The forest F O R E S T S of South Africa are more densely populated than that of India. What is wrong in that? Is नहीं डैट की जगह दो हो जाएगा आप एक प्लूरल नाउन को प्लूरल नाउन से कंपेयर कर रहे हैं द फॉरेस्ट ऑफ साउथ अफ्रीका आर मोर डेंसली पॉपुलेटेड देन दोज ऑफ दोज ऑफ इंडिया यू आर यूजिंग ए प्लूरल कंपेरिजन इज बिटवीन प्लूरल नाउन टू प्लूरल नाउन बोलिए व्हेन द कंपेरिजन व्हेन द कंपेरिजन बिटवीन प्लूरल नाउन टू प्लूरल नाउन द प्रोनाउन व्हिच विल बी यूज्ड द प्रोनाउन व्हिच विल बी दोज बट इफ इट इज सिंगुलर टू सिंगुलर देन इट विल बी दैट इट विल बी लाइक द क्लाइमेट ऑफ रांची इज बेटर देन दैट ऑफ पटना दैट ऑफ पटना सो टुडे वी हैव डिस्कस लिटिल बिट ऑफ एरर कॉमन एरर्स थैंक यू वेरी मच